Okay. I don't know. Oh, thanks. Um, hi, my name is Chika. Um, congratulations, Jumoke, on your thanks. novel and well done. I, I get very jealous of um, poets who also write um, fiction. And so my question is coming out of a place of jealousy. <laughs> so, um, would you consider yourself a writer or a poet? Ah, Chica, that's unfair. Okay, I could say I'm a poet who writes novels. So I'm a poet who writes um, prose. Yeah. So. <laughs> that doesn't count. <laughs> um, I think I'm just a writer, essentially. But I do love poetry. You know. I do love poetry. Hold on, let's give you a mic one second, sorry. So, quick follow-up. So, do you find um, poetry easier to write than fiction, or they both pre um, um, present you with different set of challenges that are more or less equal? Um, I think that, for me, they are different genres. For me, poetry is more like writing theory. It's about observation and trying to examine the context of things, um, trying to meaning, you know, and for prose, I'm telling a story. I'm telling a story, but I'm borrowing from the, um, the language of poetry, you know, that's the way I say it. But for me, poetry is primarily like theory. You examine, you observe, you interrogate. You can do that in, with um, prose as well, but there are two different genres for me. Yeah. Any other questions? I know it's very early in the morning. We're still trying to wake up. <laughs> oh. The mic will be with you shortly. No spoilers, right? But the end. How did that end come to you, right? You know, was it, did you just want to touch us? Uh, well, how do I make you buy my next book? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Actually, start with this one. Start with this one. And then the next one, you know, you can expect something more. <laughs> Anyone else? Oh, okay. The young gentleman over there. Hello, everyone. My name is Nathaniel Bivan. I know you know that name, <laughs> we've Hi. never met. So I write for Daily Trust. Uh, like a prof, did you have to stay in a dark room? That was his prof. decision. <laughs> you know, that was his decision, not mine. I, I would like to ask him the same question, really. <laughs> okay, thank you. Jim, okay, I was going to ask you, um, pertaining to darkness, there's something final, scary, and yet fascinating about darkness. I'm sure it offered a lot of material for you to explore, both as a poet and obviously through the form of prose, right? I, I mean, that is like the best way to, to go about like this journey. Yeah. Uh, I think darkness is fascinating, you know. Not exactly, we think of it as scary, but... Um, it's, it's fascinating to examine and it provides a context and it provides a good metaphor for um, exploring the characters in the book. 
things get revealed in the dark. You, know, you never know what will come out of it. So, yeah, it's, it's, it was fascinating having to interrogate the dark and, inter and see what the characters can make of the dark while um, writing the book. Any more questions? Okay, we're good? Okay. Thank you very, very much, Chumuke. We um, strongly advise you grab a copy of A Small Silence. Um, it's outside for sale, I think. There's a bookstore outside, a pop-up bookstore. Um, the next session is going to hold in how many minutes, Lola? We have exactly 10 minutes. Please, can we give Jumoke Verissimo and Ade Bantu a really big round of applause. Thank you very much. Photographers?